Hey everyone, Josh here coming to you from the Watch Village and today we've got a lovely watch to share with you which I personally think is one of Tudor's hidden gems and it's this Tudor Glamour Double Date which holds the reference code M57100. Just on a side note before we take a deeper look into the watch, if you like the look of this piece, please feel free to check out the watch on our website at thewatchvillage.co.uk or email us directly at contact at thewatchvillage.co.uk. Details will be down in the description below. Diving in first with the packaging, we get the standard Tudor setup on this one with the black outer box and the black inner box. Inside of the inner box, we can see that it's lined with a black felt material and is home to a printed Tudor logo on the top section. On the bottom section, we can see the watch sat upon a felt lined cushion with a little red ribbon sticking out of the side. Now, if we pull that ribbon, it lifts the cushion and reveals the paperwork underneath, which consists of the instruction booklet, information guide, and international warranty card with swing tag. Additionally, behind the watch is another ribboned compartment that is useful for keeping spare straps and links. As for the specs of the watch, it's an automatic piece that's powered by a COSC certified in-house movement made by Tudor called the Caliber MT5441. Dimension-wise, the watch is 42mm in diameter, with a lug width of 22.5mm and a thickness of 19mm. Looking at the watch on a 7.25 inch wrist here, you can see that it does sit rather nicely on the wrist and has a lot of presence thanks to the interesting case and lug design which we will cover soon. It doesn't protrude too much off the wrist either, so it can be worn quite well as an everyday watch or even for smarter occasions. Moving on now to the dial, and at first glance, it doesn't seem overly special, but once we really start to pay attention, we can appreciate the detail and work that has gone into it. For example, I love the way in which the dial pattern is somewhat segmented into three separate sections. The first of which is the outer ring that separates the hour markers from the rest of the features on the dial. This outer ring is made up of intricate concentric circles, containing a set of stretched lozenge diamond shaped hour markers. At first glance, these indices look dark in colour, almost black, but when the light hits them just right and we inspect them more closely, we can see that they are coloured with a beautiful shade of blue. The same goes for the Applied Shield logo at the 12 o'clock position. I'm glad that Tudor opted for the applied indices here rather than printed as it provides some much needed depth to the outer ring. And although the diamond shaped markers are quite thin and dainty, they are still highly legible thanks to the contrast against the white dial. Next we have the second dial separation which is the centre ring. As you can see here, the pattern changes for the center ring to embossed vertical lines, rather than being concentric circles like the outer ring. Within the center segment, we have the complication that gives this watch its name, the double date window. And of course, it is a quick change feature, meaning that the date can be adjusted quickly via the crown. And I must say that this is probably the fastest and smoothest quick change complication that I have ever felt on any watch. Underneath the double date window, we have the printed Tudor logo and of course the main time telling hands. As with the indices, the main hands are also blue, but this time we have a bright white loom bar running through the middle. They're quite elongated and partially tipped to match the design of the indices nicely. And finally, we have the third segmentation, which is the small second subdial right at the bottom. Again, all of the features are blue, but this time are on a smaller concentric circle background, just like the main outer ring. The design is subtle enough to fit in with the rest of the dial perfectly, yet also allows the subdial to bring its own character, thanks to the way that it is recessed quite deeply into the main dial. Overall, I think Tudor have done a great job with the colour palette and design features of this dial. Everything comes together very well as a whole and looks very smart. Moving on now to the bezel, you can see that we have a perfectly smooth polished bezel, which Tudor referred to as a double bezel. This is because of the way the bezel steps down into another segmentation and gives the watch a somewhat layered effect. This also looks great in relation to the slight protrusion of the crystal too. For me, this is one of the best plain steel bezels that I have seen for a long time. As for the case, we have another interesting and somewhat segmented design whereby the curved midsection of the flank has been indented ever so slightly to separate it from the lug section. At first, I wasn't too sure if this was necessary, but upon closer inspection, I realized that its design is genius. 
The incisions have been made on a curved diagonal so that they follow the shape of the bezel perfectly and give the impression that the lug parts of the flank have been attached in a separate modular fashion. This simple design gives so much more body shape to the case and helps the dial stand out even more away from the case. Shifting now towards the lugs, we can see that they sit very nicely on the outer edges of the case to play their own separate role in the overall design. They protrude enough to give the watch a squared off look where the bracelet attaches, but nothing too dramatic that makes the design look out of place. You can also see that they are not sharply cut either, rather they have been subtly rounded, even at the edges, to carry that smooth feel the whole way through the watch. And not to forget the inclusion of the engraved easy grip crown on the side of the case. Moving on now to the bracelet, and again, I must say, this is one of the best that I've come across in a long time. The bracelet is composed entirely of stainless steel, with a five row construction, whereby the two outer links are brushed and the three mid links are polished. As minimal as it sounds, those two brushed outer links really make a big difference to the aesthetic of the watch by dimming down the copious amount of high polished feature on the rest of the watch. This really helps to prevent the watch from becoming too flashy overall. The bracelet itself wears comfortably too. It's thinner than what you would expect on something like a Seamaster, but thick enough to be sturdy and durable. Attached to the bracelet, we have a very well-suited folding clasp that is secured in place with a safety clasp on top. It's very easy to operate and sturdy enough to not have to worry about it coming open at any point. And finally, we have the case back where we can see an exhibition crystal showing off the beautiful in-house movement working away. As for the rest of the case back, it's composed of brushed steel and contains the relevant watch details and branding engraved on there. And there we have it. That is the Tudor Glamour Double Date, or in my opinion, Tudor's Hidden Gem. As I mentioned before at the start of this video, if you do like this watch, we currently have it available in store at thewatchvillage.co.uk. So be sure to go and check it out. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that thumbs up button, and we'll see you soon for the next one.